want to ask you a question. If you could go back with Marty McFly in 1955 and change the yeah. industry of traffic engineering, uh, what what tweaks would you make? Um, I, for some reason, Johnny B. Good came into my mind. Perfect. <laughs> he definitely maybe wrote I that would, song. <laughs> maybe I would not uh, steal that song from Chuck Berry. I, I would. I'm a drummer, so Perfect. I would. Uh, I would probably. Uh, yeah. I would bet on football games too. I think I would. Um, <laughs> I think this is I'm perfect. just going to that I would do That's that would honest. be fun. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. I would. Yeah. Um, you could bankrupt so, Vegas before it even gets going. Yeah, no, exactly. That's, Don't that's ruin what I Vegas I, I for kill me. it in its infancy, right? Yes. Um, Not a no, bad I, thing. It, it's, I, I feel like the, the year I would want to go back with Marty McFly and become like the dictator of the transportation profession <laughs> would be at the end of the 1960s. Because at the end of the 1960s, we had done what we set out to do. We set out to create the interstate system, which I, I'm going to say, the interstate system in the U.S. is an amazing system, particularly if you took a snapshot at the end of the 1960s. We had connected an entire continent in a way that had never been envisioned. I would have preferred it not to go through cities. I think that was a major, major mistake. Um, if I could have, you know, gone back to the, the 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 50s, that would be the thing I would correct. But to me, the huge mistake we made was not having that cathartic moment like they did throughout much of Europe, where they got to a point where they said, okay, we built these highways out, we're building them now in cities, and the city part does not seem to be working. The interstate yeah. part, sure, like connecting Omaha with Kansas City, great idea, Omaha. good for everybody. But running a highway through the middle of Omaha and destroying all the neighborhoods, that seems to be a bad idea. Let's stop doing that. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Europe, you see that they actually had this moment where they, they wrestled with this. Like, we have no body of knowledge. Because remember, all this was like new things we created on the fly. In the US, we just took like the stuff we figured out in the 50s and 60s, and we said, you know what, this worked really great on the highways, let's put this in the middle of our cities too. And in Europe, they're like, you know what, that's like a different body of knowledge. It's like a different uh, profession almost. Let's make something different called street design and make that different from road design. And let's have like two different approaches. In the US, we said, no, nah, it's just all one thing. That's to me the moment and you can see it in the literature. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this is Jane Jacobs rising up, right? And uh, Mumford and the people around them saying like, this doesn't work in cities, stop doing this. Mm -hmm. And we basically threw tons of money at the engineers and said, go plow over them. And sure, we'll do NEPA and we'll do stuff to slow down the process and give people a chance to comment, but we're still gonna do it. You know, mm -hmm. here's all the money, go do it. And I, that's to me the moment we, really sold our soul as a profession and as a, as a country.